Hi, I'm Robert Gould and I'm President and CEO of Epizyme. We're a biopharmaceutical company creating personalized therapeutics for patients with genetically defined cancers. We are making small molecule inhibitors of two members of a class of enzymes called histone methyl transferases. The particular enzymes that we have inhibitors for that are currently in phase one clinical development are inhibitors of an enzyme called DOT1L that we are targeting toward development in patients with acute leukemias, both AML as well as ALL, and an inhibitor of an enzyme called EZH2 that we're targeting towards patients that have non-Hodgkin lymphoma, and specifically a subtype of non-Hodgkin lymphoma called germinal center B-cell lymphomas. Earlier this year, we were very excited to present data on the EZH2 inhibitor, a compound called EPZ6438. This particular inhibitor is currently in phase one dose escalation studies. We were very excited, even in these early stages, to see patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma responding with both complete responses as well as partial responses. We were very excited to see three out of five patients with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma responding to treatment with the oral inhibitor EPZ6438. We're going to be continuing these trials through 2015, expanding our experience in more patients with non-Hodgkin lymphoma, and looking at potentially at combinations with other agents that have been shown to be effective in preclinical models of non-Hodgkin lymphoma, agents like dexamethasone or prednisone. In our other clinical development program, a molecule called EPZ5676, we're very excited to present at this year's ASH early phase one data in that program, in which we had eight out of 34 patients with a very specific mutation called MLLR, in which there's a chromosomal rearrangement respond to treatment with 5676, either with resolution of symptoms or in two cases with complete responses. Again, with these two programs now moving forward in the clinic with specific inhibitors of histone methyltransferases, we're very excited about the opportunity that we have to bring these therapies forward in clinical development and continue to evaluate their efficacy in non-Hodgkin lymphoma patients, in patients with acute leukemias, both AML as well as ALL. And even more exciting for us is the opportunity in a, a cancer called INI1 deficient tumors. With our EZH2 inhibitor, we were able to treat patients that had synovial sarcoma or malignant rhabdoid tumor and see responses in these patients also. So three different cancers now in which we're seeing robust clinical activity in early phase one studies.